This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation, specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. When utilizing IPSec, we want to determine when to actually use it. And the Windows firewall with advanced security snap-in for Windows 2008 and the related client operating systems will allow you to do this based on the network connection type. When the network location type changes, then the security settings can change automatically. Now, normally this is only going to affect mobile clients, but it's just something to mention. Uh, IPsec is not something that's only done on the servers. It's something that is enabled generally for client to server uh, communication. And so therefore we want to make sure that the clients are accurately uh, configured. Windows supports three network types and when choosing the usage profile at the completion of the rule wizard, I'm able to specify which type of network the rule applies to. Now I get this for firewall rules, I get this for connection security rules, it's the very last screen of the wizard where we will specify what profile it applies to. So we have domain, private, and public. Now the domain profile is automatically applied when the computer is connected to the domain uh, in which that computer's account, uh, the computer account, resides. Okay, so that's not, I mean, you can say that it applies to the domain profile and that's the most likely profile for us to be applying these connection security rules. We may want to deselect the private and the public. Uh, private means it's applied when the computer is connected to a non-domain network like a home network. Uh, the settings should be slightly more restrictive than the domain profile, you know, and so maybe you require, but I guess I'm kind of thinking more in line of we need the computers to be able to communicate when they're on these networks. The problem is, with IPsec is if you have it require security, then that computer is not communicating with anybody, then therefore can't get internet access and, you know, there's all kinds of problems. So IPsec is really to heighten security on domain networks and therefore should probably just be, uh, you know, uh, deselected from the private and the public. From a client perspective, both home and work network types, when I connect to a new network, will be equated to the private connection, whereas the public maps to the public. So when I'm in a public network, a hotspot in airports, coffee shops, hotels, that's certainly the most restrictive. But again, by most restrictive, we're really talking about firewall rules. We should probably disable the connection security rules. Otherwise, the computers won't be able to uh, communicate. So it is the connection security rule that provides us the ability to enforce IPsec in Windows Server 2008. Let's go take a look at a demonstration and we'll walk through the process of creating and configuring these rules.